Hey, it's Mike with Narc Selective Customs, working today on Project Elsie. This is episode 15, basically going to pull the engine back out. Okay, so my plan for today, I've got to mount the transmission transfer case cross member, uh, mount onto the transfer case adapter from Advanced Adapters. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull the engine out. I've marked a couple places on the fuel line where I'm going to need to cut from the factory rail that runs down beside the trans. I'm also going to have to build a bracket that will move the uh, fuel line up just a little bit uh, tighter to the to the floor pan from the to, to move it away from the shifter to where it'll meet up with the fuel rails. So a little bit of time. I've only got about three hours today, so I'm not going to work super long out here. Okay, so one step that Advanced Adapters gives you is this bracket here, okay? See, it's part of the uh, linkage for the four-wheel drive, okay? So basically I just grab some screws or some bolts and I'm going to put it on here. What they tell you, though, is that for the 4L60s, like we're using here, you have to trim for the hex nut or for the hex style housing of the 4L60s but they don't tell you oh that goes down here not in that one they don't tell you how much to trim or anything like that so I'm basically throwing this on here real quick to get some markings to see about where we have to go to get around the uh, the 4L60 portion here. So I'm going to grab and what I so they also don't tell you which holes to use. <laughs> so I'm going to go worst case scenario that we're going to the very back. That way I have more cut here. So then I'll jump in. I'll grab a chalk and uh, and we'll mark it out. So really, kind of the dilemma is if I cut all the way in to where this should need to be trimmed. I'm actually going to be into this. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to talk to my guy Scott out at Advanced Adapters and see if he can give me a clue on whether I run it in these set of holes here or in these back holes here. That way I don't cut too much material out because if I have to, let's see if we I'll move you over here a little bit closer. So if I had to cut right now, I would basically cut around this hole and almost right along the line here for the for this piece so I really don't want to do that because then if we move back to these set of holes then I've obviously cut way too much so uh, I want to keep the integrity of the piece so I'll just wait before I cut it so okay so didn't show the last part there because I've got a little frustration here so um, this piece these fit the hole just fine for the cross member. Um, but I can't get these holes to line up on the transfer case. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna see if I can mess with it a little more on probably Tuesday or Wednesday night, tonight, Sunday. So I'm gonna try and mess with it a little more before I call the company and send it back or figure out how to make it work. The problem is it's, it's about this much. Like everything else on this damn thing has fought me just cause it's just a little bit different, a little bit further than it should be. Um, this piece is for a 88 to 89 transfer case mount. I, I don't know why it doesn't fit, but it doesn't and it pisses me off. This whole truck has fought me the entire time and I'm tired of it. So I'm going to call the company tomorrow afternoon once work slows down and uh, figure it out. If they won't replace it, I'll just modify this mount. I mean, it won't be hard. Again, I need this much, so I may just oblong the holes and uh, and make it work that way. So that's about where I'm at. I'm out of time today, so subscribe to the channel to keep up with Project Elsie. 
We have a playlist on it, which I'm, uh, I'll put in the comments, or I'll put in the description, so you can get, get caught up on all other episodes if you haven't seen those. And you can find us on Facebook at Narcoleptic Customs. I've got a whole album on Project LC. So thanks for watching. Have a great week.